Hey guys, I received some questions about how to do a proper crow pose or bakasana, so I thought I'd put a short tutorial video together for you. So um, do a few warm-ups before you do this posture, just like any arm balance, you really should warm up your wrists and your shoulders, and I've already done that, so you should do that too. Once you've done it, come to your mat and really examine your hand placement here. Notice I'm really emphasizing my elbows drawing in toward each other, my hands, fingers spread really wide apart, and then come to a, a malasana position. This is just a yoga squat, and collect your your breath here. This is a this is yoga. This is not gymnastics. So make sure that you find your breath. Plant your hands. Get rooted in your hands. Elbows are drawing in as I'm demonstrating here. Your hands should feel like you're gripping basketballs, especially once you hit the pose. My knees are really high, almost into my armpits, and I'm going to suck my stomach muscles in and raise my hips high, looking six inches in front of me. Raise your feet off of the mat, one, one after the other, once you have all these things in place, and breathe. When you breathe through this, you're able to hold the posture a lot better. Again, I'm looking six inches in front of me here. I'm not looking down. My elbows are drawing in toward themselves, and once you come out of your first set, just take a relaxed position here in Malasana. Take a few breath cycles and get centered again. Second set, again, place the hands on the mat. Notice I'm really emphasizing that rooting or foundation. Fingers spread wide apart. I feel like I'm gripping basketballs with the mat. My knees are really high on my triceps, almost right into my armpits. Suck those stomach muscles in and that will allow you to raise your hips high. Look six inches in front of you. Don't look down. Grab that mat. Almost feel like you're grabbing basketballs with your hands. Elbows really, really drawn in toward each other. Suck those stomach muscles in and then come out of the second set. Collect your breath here. Now at this stage, you're starting to feel a little warmed up. <laughs> so let's take a third set. I'll show you from a slightly different perspective. Sorry for all the brightness in the back. And again, once you've collected your breath, really place your hands firmly on the mat. Again, I'm emphasizing how my fingers are spread really wide apart. I'm gonna feel like I'm grabbing basketballs with the mat. My right knee into my right armpit, my left knee into my left armpit. Suck those stomach muscles in, raise the hips, look six inches in front of you. Try not to look down. Sometimes when you look down, you feel like you're gonna fall. It also allows you to really emphasize coming forward. By looking forward, you move forward, get those hips high, fight for that, fight, fight. <laughs> I almost lost the balance there. Elbows are drawn in toward each other. I can't emphasize that enough. And breathe through this. This is a yoga posture. This is not gymnastics, this is yoga. At this stage, you may feel as though your wrists are a little tight, so just gently give them a bit of a sort of loosening up here in any way that feels comfortable for you. Let's go for a fourth set here. Place the hands firm, elbows drawn in toward each other, right knee into right armpit, and looking six inches in front of you, draw the stomach muscles in, kind of move a little forward, raise the hips high, and breathe. Elbows are drawing in. Hands are grabbing the mat like basketballs. When you're comfortable and relaxed, come on out of it. Take a couple of breath cycles. Namaste.